Hallelujah. Praise, praise be the Most High God, the maker of heavens and the earth, the sea and all that is in them. Uh, we bring to you today good news. It's a good news for those who love God, um, but the, it's a bad news for those who do not love God. You see, in this life, everything, um, depending on what you and I believe in, um, the word, a word can mean a good thing and a word can mean a bad thing. You know, um, it is the same thing where, where we see um, uh, criminals. When you see a police officer, you don't have any problem with that. But when, when a criminal sees a police officer, they have a problem. You know, that's the same thing with when people speak the truth. Those who love the truth, it's not a problem to them. But, but, but those who, love, who hate the truth, this becomes a big problem for them. They don't want to hear it. And so this is what we are here today. We want to bring you good news. Good news only for those who love God and those who love life. You know, the Bible, us Christians, we believe that life begins in the womb and that anyone who touches a child, a life, that life is, is guilty of murder. That's what we believe as Christians. And we don't believe that God will never ever forgive you for that. We believe that in every situation, you and I, when we humble ourselves and, and come to God, we will humble ourselves and come under the, under the um, office of God's grace. We will be forgiven no matter what we did in our past. And so this is not against those who have participated in abortion and regretted it. And, and want to change their life is not against them but this is against those who support these ideas who support these and push it as if it's nothing and those are the ones uh, we, we are calling today to repent from their views their ways and those who are participating and regretting it we, we, we say all you have to do is is turn to Jesus Christ repent of your sin and you will be shown mercy and you will be saved and so i want to begin by reading a scripture the scripture is uh, taken from psalms psalms 106 um it, it talked about the sins of israel in the midst of the land and the bible tells us in psalm 106 verse 37 and 30 say that this they sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. They poured out innocent blood and blood of their sons and the blood of their daughters, whom they sacrificed to idols of Canaan, and the land was polluted with blood. You see, God sees the blood being poured out as a pollutant to the land. You see, when, when, a, when a, a child in the womb who has done nothing wrong, their blood is poured out, that grieves God's heart. That is, that is a grief to God's heart. And God takes that very, very seriously. So to each and every one of you, I want you to understand that God takes children, the life of a child, uh, whether you call it fetus, it is the same. It's a child. You know, the fetus is a Latin word for a, 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 human, a human child, a human baby, a human offspring. So that's what the name fetus comes from. You see, I talk to people uh, many a times about this issue of abortion. When, when you force who? I didn't force anybody. It's not a woman's right or choice. Is, is it your choice to kill? Is it your choice to kill? Is it a? It's a choice, there, right? It's okay. We want to hear. We want to. We want to hear what she has to say, lady. Hello, ladies. Can you can you share with us what you what's on your mind? Share with us. Can you share with us what's on your mind? Do you want to share with us? Have a conversation. 
Do you want to have a conversation? No, of course, you don't want to have a conversation. So, you see what we are talking about? We, we are saying that, you know, she said that abortion, killing your child in your womb is a choice. Yes, it is a choice, but is it, is it a good choice? Is it a, a good choice or is it a bad choice? Is it a horrendous choice? Is it a choice that uh, when someone makes it, you give them a high five? No, but that's what people do all the time. This, um, because they don't know God. And we are speaking to, most of the time to, 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 to a Greek mindset. You see, this, this nation used to be, used to regard God as something. This, this nation used to respect God and His, and, and his words. But as, as we um, digress into immorality, we begin to think of the Word of God as nothing. And that when we think the Word of God as nothing, we, uh, we, we devalue things. We devalue, and life is one of the things that, that gets devalued. You see, the Israelites were, were sinning against God, and they were sacrificing their children to, to Molech. To demons they used to burn their children their, their babies in a, a to uh, in fire they used to burn their babies in fire and, and it's no different from today abortion that people do today you know they're they're sacrificing their children on the altar of women's right you know and they, they don't they don't see anything wrong with that some of Many, many of these people don't see anything wrong with that. And there are people who, who have a problem with that. They, they are devastated and they go to these abortion clinics and they tell them, you are doing the right thing. And we are here to tell you that, that it's the, who, no, no matter the person who tells you you're doing the right thing is lying to you. They're not telling you the truth. We are here to tell you the truth today. That a child in the womb is blessed by God. A child in the womb is a joy to the parents. A child in the womb is a joy, should be a joy to the woman who is carrying that child. And you tell me, you know, why would, you know, you know, what if the person doesn't want the child? My friend, why would any, why would, why would a woman not want a child? Why would a woman not want to give birth to a child? And you tell me, well, it was inconvenient, but the problem is because, you know, there's a lot of promiscuity around. People are having sex outside of marriage. And, and because they have sex outside of marriage, and sex is an automatic thing that brings forth a child. A child is an automatic thing that comes out of, out of sexual relationship, which God made to be beautiful, to be enjoyed by, by couple, married couple. But today we have, because we are a nation that has wandered away, far away from God, we don't consider, um, we don't consider sex within marriage. We think sex should be, should be free for all. We should be for everybody. But that's not how God made it. That's not how God wants it to be. God wants sexual relationship to be between a man and a woman in a confine of marriage. In the confines of marriage. If you, anything outside of the, conf, any sexual relationship outside the confinement of marriage is fornication. It's a sin against God. It's a sin against the living God. And because people don't know God, and because people don't, don't want to know God, they live a life uh, carelessly. They want to be the, 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 the creator of the universe. They want to make their own rules. They choose to go and have sex outside of marriage and when a child develops out of that, they, the solution is to kill the child. My friend, I want to tell you, the solution is not to kill the child. It's to be, the solution. be
be a real woman and have that child. If you don't want the child, you can give that child up for adoption. There are lots of people today, men, uh, men and women, couples that have no children and are willing to adopt a child. There are many people today that does not have a child and they would love to adopt a child, that, your child. So the solution is not to kill your child. The solution is to, is, to, is to carry that child to full term and give it up for adoption if that is if you really don't want that child after after all but most most women after having that child will want that child they don't want they won't want any any anyone to tell them otherwise small percentage of people magnified by lots of uh, uh, lots of media are the ones pushing these ideas and now it has become rampant because the mind of of this nation has turned completely away from God but we want you know what we want to bring it back to God again because God has been left out of the equation many times when it comes to these uh, in, in the case of abortion God is left out of it and we want to bring God back into because God has never left in that situation is human being we believe that God is not part of it we want you to know that God created you in, the, in, in, the, in your mother's womb the Bible said God needed you together in your mother's womb while you're in the womb you didn't you didn't ask yourself to mark to to actually to develop you know no pregnant no pregnant woman is in uh is telling the child to have to have eyes to have arms to have every other body part it is all by god's crafty work god handy work so i want to know i want you to know that you and i are fearfully and wonderfully made and that God cares about each and every one of you today every each and every one of you God cares about you even when you were in the womb even when you were that tiny um, uh, human being developing and growing in the womb over that period of nine months God knows you God needed you together so when you think of yourself as such why would you want to kill the child that is in your womb? Why would you want to kill your child inside, child inside your womb? Only nation that have forsaken God is, an, is the only nation that kill children, that kill child, ch uh, children in the womb or outside the womb. Like I read in the, in the, in, uh, in the book of, uh, of Psalms 106, Verse 37 and 38 here, he mentioned that the people of Israel, when they fall away from God, when they fell away from God, they began to murder their babies. They began to sacrifice their babies to demons. When they forsake God, when they have wandered away from God, this is what usually happened to a nation. Because, my friend, when you forsake God, when you forgot God, your mind began to be twisted. When you leave God, your mind becomes empty. And what happened to an empty mind? Empty mind gets occupied, usually occupied by the demons. And so when Israel began to worship other gods, when Israel began to worship demons as God, the result of that is they begin to give their babies to those gods. They begin to murder their babies and sacrificing it to these these uh, these uh, 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 wicked gods, the, which are demons. And and no 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 difference today. There's no diff much difference today, except that back then they were doing it for they were sacrificing it uh, for 
for maybe to get good fortunes because this demons that they worship demands human blood it demands human blood especially the blood of the innocent even today we see the same thing happening today even satanists those who worship satan they usually they they, they want a child that is a child a child because a child is pure the blood of that child is pure the mind of that child is pure that child has not done a committed sin that child has not polluted um there has not has not polluted their mind so even satan himself even satan himself has even satan himself wants a pure blood a pure child they want children why do they want children in uh, in these demonic and satanic rituals because they know the value of children a child in a womb they know that a child in a womb or a child has just been born is pure and they, they want their blood to use it to to make sacrifice today is no different from the same way we do with abortion today you, you know i can give you I can I can give you a you know what there's a lot of people that makes a lot of comment that doesn't make much sense they think if you are a man you shouldn't be telling a woman that something is wrong you shouldn't be telling someone that something is wrong it, it, it just it makes no sense it defies logic like if I if if you if I see a woman if I see a woman who's uh, who's who's doing drugs I I can't tell them that that's wrong that's not good for you because I'm not a woman it makes no sense it makes no sense absolutely absolutely makes no sense and that's and that's the only thing that the people that love that love ch uh, killing children that's the only thing the only thing they can say they ask the only argument they have you know a lady asked me last week it said tell me well if you don't have uh if you don't have pr women private parts you can't have any any uh you don't have any uh any topic you don't have any safe in this matter and i, I see if, like if you're a man you cannot you have no opinion i, I beg to differ man if i if if just by being a human means I have opinion, I I I, I doesn't have to be a member of uh, of that same sex to have an opinion about that about issues that are wrong in our in our society. But they play this uh, argument: this you're not a woman card all the time, and all the all is all is doing is just to try to shut down the the, the 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 having a conversation with you because they know that they have no. Uh, no solid evidence on their side no truth on their side the fact is not on their side the fact is not on the side of the abortion pe uh, people who like to abort babies the fact is not on your side the fact is on the side of those who believe that the child in the womb is fearfully and wonderfully made and that child is precious has his own DNA separate from the mother's DNA that child is a unique human being in the womb you know and they and they tell you well, what do you wh who are you to tell me what to do with my own body but the child is not your own body the child is a separate human being you don't have two heartbeats a woman who's pregnant there's two heartbeats de de detected there you don't have two heartbeats so so it's not your body you know, I hear all these arguments that makes absolutely no sense. But they make it anyway because, because these people make this argument in front of politicians and politicians having no um, morals, no God in their hearts. Some of these politicians don't even know God. They don't have any, no, no, um, nothing to defend against it, so they back off because they don't want to get uh, voted out next year. I, I'm not running for any political office, 
So I don't have to be, I don't need to be politically correct. I'm a Christian. I'm always politically incorrect. We are, we are, we are, we supposed to be politically incorrect as Christians. We're supposed to be speaker of truth. We see the truth, Amen. we speak it. Amen? We see, we see the truth, we speak it. You know, we call a spade a spade. That is what we are. A child in a womb is, is living. Well, that's what we, what, what we do. A man who put, puts on a cloth of a woman is not a man just because he, is not a woman just because he puts on a, a dress. You know? That, but, but today, our society is so uptight, so afraid to talk, to speak the truth. But we are not afraid. We're people of God, we're not afraid. We speak the truth with power, with compassion. But we we not we not we don't back up. We don't back off from 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 issues just because we think it's a hard issue. You know, we have a lot of people. Many times uh, we 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 speak about you know each issue that are truth and concern people. Some some people get on the phone. They call the police and they think that um, <laughs> they think that that you know in Canada you know that we live in a communist uh, a socialist system where if you you know truth will land you in jail or if you're a Christian uh, someone can call the cops on you and they and uh, Gestapo's will come and arrest you and, uh, and so there, many people are grow, they grew up in this society they have no idea of what laws and rights that each and every one of us have I mean, in this nation, the Bible, uh, not the Bible, the Canadian Constitution, the, the Charters of Rights and Freedom, in the, in the Constitution of Canada, it says there, number one, that whereas that Canada is founded on the belief of the supremacy of God and the rule of law. You know, we follow the rule of law and we believe in the supremacy of God. You know, when you believe in the supremacy of God, you are saying that, that God is supreme overall. That God is the, own, the most supreme. And, and everything that God said is true. And everything that God said is what will stand. That is, that's what supremacy means. You know, when Canada, when, the, when, when our constitution said that Canada is founded under the supremacy of God. Canada, the, 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 the crafter of, of the of Canadian constitution acknowledges there the supremacy of God. And by acknowledging that, they also acknowledge that the word of God is greater than the laws of Canada. That's, that's how it is, my friend. When you accept the supremacy of God, you say that God is supreme over the king, over the queen, over the king of Canada. And God, God's law is supreme over the laws of the land. And so we, we speak the truth, we speak the word of God, and we let the chip falls where it's supposed to, in man's and human, in, the, in, in human hearts. That's where the truth is supposed to be. If you continue to support um, things like abortion and you think it's okay, God is going to judge you on the judgment day. He, you are going to give an account. But if you, for, if you repent of your sins and you confess to God and, and say, God, I have sinned against you. I have participated in abortion. I have killed a child in my womb. And, and, and I, I, ne I didn't feel, I never feel good about that. I'm sorry, may you please forgive me. I, I turn from my sin. The Bible says God is, God is faithful. And God is faithful to forgive you of your sins and cleanse you from all unrighteousness. We serve a merciful God. But the problem with this nation today is that we have so much mind many people today that don't know god and so whatever they hear on the news whatever they hear on the on the so-called science they believe it we don't believe those things we don't believe the the, the lies of the devil 
We don't believe the lies of the devil. We believe in the truth. We believe that that human beings are made in the image of God. And by being made in the image of God, they should not be cut to pieces. They should not be um, um, and destroyed. A okay, child in the have a question. What if a woman is raped? She doesn't have the right to get an abortion? Does this child does deserve to be killed just because uh, there was a rape? I, I want you you're a mother, right? I am a mother. Okay. I have two kids. Would this babe with this child, what does this what What is the future? What does the future <laughs> hold for a rape child? What? What is the future hold for a rape child? Uh, there's a lot of rape uh, children like, walking so around rape. all the time, my friend. So because because a child dies, someone is raped, so you punish the, fa the, 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 the child and let the father go free. Imagine, you see how people think, oh, well, someone is raped. Yeah, if uh, someone is raped, take the rapists and throw them in prison. Take the rapists and throw them in prison. Don't don't kill the child you see people have a problem Hello. with this case yes how you doing Sandra? You? good so people have a problem oh, some parents kill the children no you should nobody should nobody should it's a bad thing so my friends i want you to know yes you see people are people are bent out of shape nowadays people are bent out of shape when they see and hear things like these yeah people come to you and they say what about someone who was raped you, you want them to have the child my friend that's a point point zero point one percent of the abortion that is performed today what about the 99 percent 99.9 percent of them what about the other 99 percent you know we have the one percent are between incest and, and 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 rape those are one percent but then they will bring out the one percent and they'll tell you you know what about the one percent as if that one percent the one percent will cancel the 99 percent i i don't i don't see it that way it's a it's a very a weak argument it's a very weak argument you dangle one percent in front of me so i can forget about the 99 percent how can that be i'm not foolish i'm not foolish i'm not stupid i know that 99 percent is greater than one percent you know there's one percent unfortunate thing you know someone who who is uh uh ha who, who, who uh, had ancestral relationship that is that is that is something hard and i believe that that person who committed that if that's if that if they're related to that that person should be dealt with but to kill the child for the sin of others is wrong it's wrong but yet we hear it all the time we hear it all the time you know what about they paint these pictures that does not exist they paint this picture of you know what about a poor little person and then and this person is crippled this person is blind and then they have a child what do you want them to what kind of a life like like as if there are no people today that are that that exist today that are doing something for themselves who are not a child that it's that, that was born out of rape there are many people today that are many people that are walking around today they exist but they were born out of wedlock or they're born out of rape situation are you gonna say well you're not supposed to live you're not you don't have the right to live because because uh, because of what uh, happened to your mother because of what your the sins that your fathers committed you're not supposed to live that makes no sense no person in their right mind would uh, be placed in that situation no person in that, that in their right mind would think that's true that's right and besides about being raped most of most situation of, of people being raped not the person's fault but, but most people that call themselves that are being raped are um, many of these are, are all out of uh, thin air 
these are created numbers, these are created scenario, many of them are created scenario. Because when a, when a person uh, is raped, they, they, can, they, have, they can go that same day and report that person. And they can go that same day to the hospital to have themselves checked or to have themselves flushed. They can go that same day. Why would you wait after being raped? You wait for a, uh, two weeks, you wait for a month and before you go. And then you say, well, you know, I, oh, I'm pregnant because I was raped. No, most people usually will go to the place. Most people will go to hospital that same day. Most people, many women will call the police and, get, and have the rapist arrested and jailed. Many women will do that, and many women will go, will go, will go straight to hospital on that same day. So we, so we don't. I don't understand all this, uh, all this, uh, you know, weak argument that people make concerning abortion, that abortion should be illegal, should be legal, and all should abortion should people should uh, have the right to murder their own babies. I don't know how. What? What? What kind of a mind that want that? What kind of a mind are we becoming? What kind of what kind of a nation are we becoming? Where we don't regard a child, a life of a child in the womb as anything. And some people they come to you, they say, "Well, it's just a a, a blob of 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 jello. It's just a clump of cell." You know, people tell you make these fake arguments, fake. A weak arguments. It's just a, a you know a, a clump of cells. I see that they, they themselves are not clump of cells. It, it's it's it, it's a very 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 troubling um, situation we have in this nation in all over North America. And many people, millions of children are being aborted. Millions of children are being killed every single day, every single year millions of them and these are millions of potential human beings who have who could have been doctors who could have been scientists who could have been pastors preachers who could have been uh, uh health care workers there are many of these potentials but people we don't think about it our society don't think about it because our society is in love with death we live in a society that is in love with death. We live in a society that worships sex. That is a problem. When you worship sex so much as, as we worship sex in this country, in this, not, not in this Western world, we're going to have a lot of abortions. That is what happens when you love sex and worship sex. You're going to have a lot of promiscuous, uh, a lot of children born out of wedlock. When God said, you shall not do so. When God said, you should not have that, he created sex between a man and a woman in the confine of marriage. Where you say, well, God, you don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. It's my choice. Yes, it's your choice, but God is also also have a choice to judge you. It's His choice because He broken His commandment. He can judge you too. So we call everyone who has been in this situation to repent. We call all those women who has who has participated in abortion and, and because they were afraid, because they were they panicked, they didn't know what to do. God can still forgive you, but you need to come to God. You need to come to repentance. You need to come to the Most High and you need to confess. You need to surrender your life to Him so that He can give you a new life. So He can give you a new heart and a new, and a new soul. You need to come to the living God. For that living God gave us a Savior. And his name is Yeshua. His name is Jesus the Christ. He came into the world to give his life as a ransom for many. And Jesus is the one who said, Come to me, all you who are heavy laden, who are loaded down. 
and I will give you rest. He's the one who said, take my yoke and learn from me, for I am mild. For my yoke is kind and my load is light. And you will find refreshment for your soul. Jesus is the one who made those statements. God is the one who said, let, come all you people, let us reason together. Or, no matter how your sin is, although your sin may be as dark as can be, I can wash you a white as snow. God is making a promise. God is calling you. God is calling every man, everyone, every woman, everyone from everywhere. He said that He can make you as white as snow if, you're, if your heart is dark as can be. He can make you as white as snow. Will you listen to God? Would you come to Him in righteousness? And repent of your sins will you do that or would you just continue to live your life the way you like and wait for the judgment day to be for God to judge you for you to give an account because each and every one of us are going to give an account of our life don't think that your life is yours don't think that your life is only yours you are created in the image of God, you are placed here for a, for a reason. And you are placed here to know God and know His ways. And follow His ways. Your life is created by God. And because God is, who is the one who created you, He has the right to your life. God is the one who created you. He has the right to your life. If you think that God doesn't have a right over your life, try giving yourself breath. Try giving yourself breath. Try waking yourself up at, uh, in the morning. If you think that God doesn't own your life, my friend, you're playing a foolish game. You're playing a Russian roulette with your life. If you believe that your life your, does not belong to God. And God has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, to give you, to, to save you. Save you from what? Save you from the wrath, His wrath that is kindled. To save you from the judgment that is coming upon the ungodly. My friends, every ungodly person, every wicked person will be judged. Every wicked person. From Stalin to Hitler, everyone from Mao, every, Zidane, everyone will be judged. To the, to the smallest sinner, everyone will be judged. God will judge you for all the cracks, all the, all the weed, all the, all the child you've molested. God will judge you for all the pornographies you watched. God will judge you for all the abortions that you have taken part in God will judge you for each and every sins that you have committed you need to repent Jesus came into the world to save us from those judgments and Jesus is not a get out of free uh, get out of jail free card so that you come to Jesus and you're like oh yes I got Jesus and I'm gonna go back and live in my life the way I want that's foolishness Jesus came into the world so that you can be saved from the wrath of God that is coming. So that you can begin to live a new life that is pleasing to God. The life that is pleasing to God. The life that does not think, um, you know, shocking up with a, a, a woman that is not your wife is a, is a good thing. A life that does not think that, you know, uh, you know sleeping around is a good thing. A life that does not think that, you know, that uh, dressing up like a woman and walking in women's, walking into women's bathroom is a good thing. A life that does not think that, uh, that killing a child in a womb is a, good, is, is a good thing. That's the life that God wants you to live. A life that does not live in lies. A life that, that is not based on... on on just your own whims doing whatever you feel like whatever you feels like you know there, there's 
some, some people that live like that have a saying, they say, whatever feels good, do it. If it feels good, do it. If that's how you live in your life, you are going to run into a big, big problems with God. And some of you believe that God does not exist. Keep believing that. Keep telling yourself that God doesn't exist. We'll see. And you tell me who made all these things. You tell me who crafted a child in a womb. You tell me who, um, who formulated the cells, uh, the human cells. You tell me how that came together. You tell me how your DNA come together. Is it by accident? Is it by chance? No, it's not. Only a foolish person will believe that their DNA is by, came by accident. Life is not an accident, my friend. Life is not an accident. You're here for a purpose. We all created to glorify God, my friend. We all live in this planet that we are not far, we're not, we're not far from the sun that we, we can we freeze to death. Or, or, or so close to the sun that we burn, that we get scorched. We, we, we're such in a perfect equilibrium, fine-tuned universe that causes life to be sustained, to be possible, number one, and to be sustained. That does not happen by accident, my friends. That does not happen by accident. What causes that, that sperm when it meets an egg to fuse together and start creating and start multiplying into, into different life? What tells those little tiny cells what kind of cells they should become? The eye cells or the, or the throat cells, the, the hair cells, all the cells in your body. There are message in your system your dna if we can if we can write it down in a book according to science scientists it will fill sixteen thousand pages of books that's just your dna single strand of dna and you tell me that there is no god that's a foolish man that's what the bible said a fool has said in his heart that there is no god only a fool say that the wise the wise believes in God. The wise believe that there is a creator. At least, even, even if that wise person is not, it does not uh, live a straight life, but at least they believe that there is a God. That's the beginning of wisdom. The Bible said the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But a fool despises knowledge. So my friends, I'm telling you today, that you need to turn to Jesus Christ. I'm telling you today that life, my friend, is precious. I'm telling you today that you cannot treat life like it's a foolish game. I'm telling you, my friend, that if you tamper with a child in a womb, you will be judged for it because God cares about that child in the womb just as he cares about that person that is outside the womb you need to know these things many of many of you many of you need to know these things many of you need to have the truth the truth that can set you free the bible said the truth will set us free jesus said that the truth will set you free you need to come to Jesus Christ today. You need to come to the righteousness of God. There is no other way, my friend. There is no other way. The only way is the way of God. And God has sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into the world so that you can have eternal life. God is the ultimate. God is wonderful. God is awesome. God is holy. God is just in all his ways. All his ways are wonderful. All his ways are just. There is no tracing of his ways. Eyes cannot have not seen, ears have not heard the glory of God. Do you need reinforcements? Do you need reinforcements on switch out? 
also it's all good after uh, after maybe afterwards yes so God wants you to know this that there is no place that his eyes does not go the eyes of the Lord is one wonders about he observed the righteous and the wicked the Bible says and anyone who does evil his soul hates God hates the workers of iniquity the Bible says and if you are working iniquity you have not come to Jesus my friend if you come to Jesus Christ you will be set free you will be you will be cleansed of your sins Jesus Christ is the only way the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father except through him you need to know that you and I need to know there is a God in heaven there is a God in heaven who cares about you and I there is a God in heaven who is holy who is just and who is a judge and I want you to know this God this God is also a loving God he loves us enough to spare us from his wrath his justice by sending his only son Jesus Christ to come into the world to become a human being please my friend don't laugh at this there's no laughing in the lake of fire there's no laughing in the lake of fire there's only weeping and gnashing of teeth my friend you need to turn to the Savior today turn to the Savior before it is too late God is calling you today turn from your sin before it is too late Jesus Christ is the way the truth and the life and no man comes to the Father except through him Amen